How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Wolfgang the Warlock Expert Mode Let's Play. So in the last episode, we challenged the Moon Lord, but he proved a little bit too strong for poor Wolfgang. So, unicorn in hand, he has moved off and is in the process of powering up, ready for his rematch. So we've been farming the Solar Eclipse to try and craft the Celestial Stone and even get the Celestial Shell as well to give us the armor and the regen we need to defeat the Moon Lord. We've also got our cool new arena with plenty of room to move around and fight him to our heart's content. Ah, Wyvern! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Wyvern, why you always turn up like this? Silly Wyvern. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against Wolfgang. <laughs> and I have no mana. <laughs> oh, I was trying to get away without using a uh, mana potion. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do this episode, so let's get started. Ah, yes, we got the Moonstone, and I almost died at the same time. <laughs> oh, no, Mothron, your timing is terrible. <laughs> your terrible timing. Don't come here now. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I've actually just discovered that Icor works brilliantly on Mothron, which is super, super effective. Um, so, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Pro tip. <laughs> and I'm probably going to die. <laughs> probably going to die here. Unless we can do some pretty crazy dodging. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, we got the weapon we're after, which is... Or the accessory, rather. The Amazing Moon Charm. Which is good. And lots of broken hero swords. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so cool. So, we got the Moonstone. So, uh, I know I'm a bit crazy, but I kind of want to get two Moonstones. Um, so we can make two Celestial, Charmy, Stony things. Um, ooh, Fritz, yay, we're starting to get all the banners. <laughs> ah, beautiful. And that speeds things up uh, a lot too, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, I kind of want to get two of the Moonstones because uh, we need the Celestial Shell and the Celestial Stone. Um, I, I think both will help us a lot in our Moonlord fight. So we got one, uh, so I'll speed the rest of this up and hopefully we get it sooner rather than later. And uh, just a little FYI too, I'm noticing that all the different magic weapons are good against different mobs in this invasion. So like Icor Razor Pine absolutely shreds Mothron, and like Razor Blade Typhoon seems to be good against, you know, weapon uh, enemies like the Butcher and uh, Deadly Spears and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's just really interesting how how they're vulnerable to different attacks. Um, so yeah, so playing around with the weapons, really good idea. So here we are, out in an abandoned field, hunting werewolves under the light of the full moon. Uh, because we need to find a... Oh, there's one down there. Uh, we need to find a moon charm, uh, so we can make our celestial shell. And one thing when you're hunting werewolves, you have to find some uh, areas where it's not hallowed or corrupted or anything like that. They only seem to spawn on purity biomes. Uh, from what I've discovered, so yeah, so you can use a Clentaminator if you find most your areas are, you know, changed already. But uh, anyway, they've got a one percent chance of dropping the Moon Charm, so this shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Although the night is almost over, so we're gonna have to get lucky.
Oh yeah, we got a moon charm. Awesome. That is so good. Ah, feels awesome. And here we are, back in the golem chamber. And I mistakenly thought I had the pixel, but I've got the pickaxe axe. They look a bit similar. Um, just the pickaxe axe is a bit lighter. But uh, I've got four lizard power cells. We did a bit more farming. Got some more banners up here. Oh my gosh. And actually, I might just pick up my water candles quickly. And yeah, so what I'm going to do is churn through the four golems quickly, get some treasure bags, and hopefully we get our last sunstone. We just need one, and then we've got all the stuff we need to massively power up Wolf King. So, without further ado, let's get this underway. Hey, Mr. Golem! Yeah! <laughs> And the Nebula Blaze is, the more I'm using it, the more I'm starting to like it. Uh, I might actually, probably picked a bad time to do this, so I want to equip the Arcanum too. Um, just to give that a go, see how it goes in the box. It's pretty good, like it seems to center in on the, like the Golem's fist and do multiple damage. Although the damage amount seems to be pretty slow, which is not ideal, but uh, that's okay. So let's smack uh, Mr. Golem in the head a few times. Uh, that's right, he was vulnerable to Aqua, I remember now. And yes, I've still forgotten to make additional mana potions, so that was a bit silly. So now I'm trying to regen mana during a fight, which is never a good idea. <laughs> but uh, if I don't cast for a, a second or two, I should be fine. It's slowly regenerating here. Um, you can actually... You, get enhanced regeneration while you're falling. Um, so yeah, that kind of works for that. And there we go, got the heads pop off. And let's swap to the Spectre Mask and do a bit of health regen. So when Golem first separates his head, it actually gives you a chance to catch your breath, just, you know, do a bit of healing or whatever you need to do. Um, so yeah, don't rush to do damage against him. Just take, your, take a moment. And now that we're fully healed, and our potion timer's back on, we can actually jump in and start doing some damage here. And I'll use the... Oh no, we should be able to burst him down. Beautiful. Okay, that works nicely. Alright, so I'll just turn through the other three cells, and then we'll start opening some treasure. Okay guys, we've finally, hopefully, done the last component of our farming. So we're going to open our four golem treasure bags and, fingers crossed, that we get the sunstone. And, <laughs> can you guys remind me to make some mana potions, oh my gosh. <laughs> that, was, that was a bit tricky. But anyway, the time has come. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh gosh, oh yes, 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 oh that's so good, oh my gosh, oh man, we needed that, that was, uh, oh, hello, uh, Rod of Discord? No, <laughs> that would be the dream, guys, just to get like a random Rod of Discord, that'd be so amazing, alright, let's put our extra loot in there, uh, ooh, I have Golem, I don't think we've got room for it, unfortunately, but, very cool item still. Alright guys, I'm going to make my way back to base, and it's time to do some powering up with our accessories. Let's go! Oh my gosh, guys, that was a lot of farming. That was a lot, a lot of farming. Um, I hope you appreciate there was a bit of sped up 
uh, segments there, just because, yeah, it would have taken ages otherwise. But in all, we have farmed. We've farmed the Moon Charm. We've got two Sunstones. We've got three Moonstones. And now what we're actually going to do is we'll put all the accessories together and then we'll look at modifiers. Alright, so what we need to do is make a moon shell. Awesome. Then we need to make two celestial stones. Okay, beautiful. Then we're going to merge the moon shell and a celestial stone into the celestial shell. And now all of these three accessories we can equip at the same time to get triple the benefits. Um, now I'm thinking because, yeah, we don't have a lot of damage reduction, so we're going to have to go for armor, I believe. So I'm thinking warding is going to be the best on these, uh, if we can get it. Um, armored, I'll take that for now, uh, just in case we run low on cash. Um, yeah, I just think armored's going to be best. Oh yeah, warding, beautiful. Uh, yeah, warding's going to be best, guys, just because... Um, the Moon Lord just does so much damage. Um, lucky, no. No, I'm gonna go for armor this time. Oh, beautiful. Alright, should we... Yeah, we're gonna need every point we can get. <laughs> so let's, let's try a few more. Not violent. No, we don't want that. Okay, we've got a bit of cash to burn anyway, so... And this is probably the last thing we're gonna spend money on. Alright, beautiful. So we've got warding on all of our accessories. Um, there's probably some things we can arguably swap out, so the Celestial Emblem, it's not like we get Mana Stars during the Moon Lord fight anyway. Um, and the em the shell gives 10% damage, so we're not really losing out there. I think the Charm of Myths, if you actually look at the stats, it doesn't really do much. Um, except give you 15 second quicker heals. So I think all the benefits of the Celestial Stone is going to be better. And then the... The last Moonstone, which will give us, again, buffs again at night time. As much as I hate doing it, I think I'm going to lose the boots. Um, oh no, we're going to need the turtle tortoise shell too. Oh, ninja gear. Oh no, this is tough. What are we going to get rid of? Ninja gear, maybe? I mean, it gives us 10% dodge and a dash chance. Oh, I don't know. I'll have a think about it. <laughs> So, all that's left, guys, is we just need to wait for night time. Might put my boots on <laughs> in between, though. Uh, we need to wait for night time. And what we can also do is finally craft a Celestial Sigil, uh, which will allow us to summon the Moon Lord. So, we need to make six more Nebula Fragments. And then it should be an option, I believe. Yeah. So, the Sigil is 20 of each. Okay, so we've got one Moon Lord token there. Lovely. Okay, guys, so I'll grab some potions. We'll wait for night time. And then the ultimate rematch will be happening. <laughs> will we win? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, here we are at our Moon Lord Arena. And we are ready to fight the Moon Lord for the rematch of the century. Um, you'll notice I've spread out the statue mob boxes a little bit. Um, I was thinking about it and, well, I, I thought the whole strategy here is to move around more. So it seemed counterproductive to have all our healing in one spot. Um, so unfortunately I haven't got the Celestial Emblem on, um, which means I'll just have to sort of, sort of touch the boxes to get the healing effect of the Mana Stars. But that's okay, we'll give it a go. Alright, so buffs are on. And Wolfgang is off. So what we're going to try and do this time is use a more run and gun sort of strategy. Just keep moving. Uh oh my, uh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, just keep on sort of moving around. Um, I think that also minimizes his uh, moon bite a little bit too, which would be nice <laughs> because that attack is evil. I think he's about to use his uh, Phantasmal Death Ray. Uh, timed it bad. Okay, that's alright. We didn't uh, actually get hit too much, which is nice. Alright, so I've still got 25 seconds off a potion, uh, which is not fantastic, but we'll just have to make do. And unfortunately, because we're sort of... Uh-oh. 
because um, we're using homing weapons, we're not going to be able to aim to get the... Why then? <laughs> not now. <laughs> Oh, Wyvern, <laughs> you're so naughty. <laughs> we're not going to be able to focus down a particular eye. So yeah, we're just going to have to hope for the best in that department a little bit. Uh-oh. Alright, so we've got to heal off nice. Let's get some mana stars. Yeah, so we're just going to have to keep moving, keep firing, and dodge as best we can. Because in my opinion, the Moon Lord, you can't really dodge that that well. Um, you can sort of dodge, his Phantasmal Death Ray is easy enough to dodge, as long as- oh, Wyvern! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Although, the Wyvern might actually be helping us dodge a little bit of damage, in a strange way. Okay. Uh, yep. Lovely. Okay. So we've almost got two of the eyes out now. Although we're very low. How long are we off a heal? 19 seconds, that's scary. That is really scary. <laughs> Okay, alright, we've got two of the eyes out, I think, oh no, death ray's up, alright, that was pretty good, how long off the heal guys, five seconds, alright, so I'm literally just <laughs> in spam mode now, alright, so what we need to do is try and be ready for when the eye opens, and not get hit by death ray, oh goodness, and yeah, we have to try and do as much damage as possible to the forehead eye when it opens up. Which is easier said than done, I know. And we have to avoid those uh, hands because they deal melee damage, which is scary. Uh, gotta get that eye. Um, so if we can get the core open, we might be okay. But while that core's still shut, we're in big danger. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> This is, uh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, come on! Open up, core! Uh, did we get it? Yes, we did! The core's open! Oh, goodness. Come on, Wolfgang, you can do it! Oh, we're still 16 seconds off a heal. I might actually start moving a bit further. Um, now that there's no Phantasmal Death Ray, we don't really have to... Uh, stop in that sense. Okay, three seconds off a heal. Come on. Don't get hit. All right, we got the heal off. I'm just trusting that the um, <laughs> the Nebula Blaze is landing hits here. <laughs> I'm trusting it, guys. <laughs> so, I'm just working on dodging <laughs> as much as possible. All right, we got some uh, nice uh, healing off then, whatever it was, <laughs> because I can't stop to look. <laughs> All right, don't want to get hit by that hand. That's... That's unnecessary, that one. Oh gosh, guys, the core's getting lower. Ah, come on. Come on. It's getting so low. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, 17 seconds. Oh, the core's still got heaps. Oh, we're out of mana again. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh, Wolfgang, you did it! Oh, we did it! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Wow! Oh my god, guys! Wow! Oh, let's turn off the... Oh, that is just crazy. <laughs> Look at all the compasses and stuff we got. Oh my god, I need a second. Oh wow. Oh, that is just... That's insane. I, seriously, like, during that, I was like, just trying to hit, like, my mana... Um, my mana button. I'm, like, trying to find the healing button and... Oh, wow. <laughs> Please don't make me do that again. That was, um... That was hard. <laughs> Oh, gosh. <coughs> Sorry. Wow. Okay. It can be done. Moon Lord on Expert with Spectre Gear. And, yeah. It was kind of cool. Like, it was fun. Um, one thing I did make was super healing potions using the fragments. Um, you only need one of each fragment, so I made a few more nebulas and did that. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was... Uh, 
Wow. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was big. That was probably the hardest expert mode fight I've had, I reckon. That was that was pretty full on. Okay, so let's get rid of some of this. I can always get more robot hats, guys. Wyvern showing up during the fight. Okay, guys, you ready? Ready? Open a treasure bag. Three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> we got the celebration. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for Luna Flare or... Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Luna Flare, Last Prism would have been cool. Um, but hey, we got the celebrations. Cool weapon. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching the finale of the Wolfgang of Warlock Let's Play series. It's uh, It's been an amazing adventure with Wolfgang and I can't believe we we finally defeated the Moon Lord and oh, that, oh, it was such a... Uh, such a close fight. We uh, we got lucky a few times there with our health dropping dangerously low. But I guess that's you know that's how an expert mode final boss should be. You, you know you should be like on the edge of your seat, like desperately trying to survive. So yeah, really really fun. Now I know I just said finale, but um, there is a few things I still want to do in the Wolf Gang series, but more just for fun. Um, and an, it's not really enough to fill a full episode, so it's stuff we talked about, like doing a boss rush, having a having a few little random things in Wolfgang's world. So I'll probably release it just as a bonus happy video, um, and fans of the series can, you know, just enjoy it as a bit of extra content. Um, but I don't want to just pat out a normal episode, uh, because that's not my style. Like, if I can't do a normal episode of it, I'll just do it as a bonus for you. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for watching the series, it's been so awesome. And Wolfgang, yeah, seems to be a very, very, uh, a very popular character with a lot of you, so yeah, he's had a lot of fun. <laughs> but the time has come for him to get on his unicorn and fly into the distance. <laughs> with that said, it's time for some shoutouts as always. And our first one is from Juice Slinger. They've asked me to say in a Buzz, Light, <laughs> Buzz Lightyear voice, To the cookie jar and beyond! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I haven't heard that one before. I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Juice Slinger. Uh, our next one is from Jack Reynolds. And they've asked me to say, Forget the razor, Pine. I want the razor cookie. <laughs> that's cool. Someone else was like, How about the razor cookie? <laughs> no, no, not razor cookie. No, razor pine. Razor cookie. Oh, Cookie Pine? I think that's what they said. <laughs> anyway, I was like, yeah, that works too. <laughs> and next one is from Killer Jace. And they've asked me to say in a Yaren voice, I'll get the cookie yo-yo after I defeat the cookie lord. <laughs> uh, bring out the cookie model ready. Let's do it, people. <laughs> uh, and next one is from Turtle Time. And they've asked me to say in a Wyvern voice, Is Yaren seriously trying to make a cookie yo-yo? Oh, Wyvern. Interfering in that final boss fight. I don't know. Wyvern is always interfering. <laughs> Thanks, Turtle. And our last one today is from Jeffrey Anderson. And they've asked me to say in a Gavin voice the mini shark, the mega shark, and now the cookie shark. <laughs> Thanks, that's awesome. Oh, good old Gavin. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Well, really, leave a like if you've enjoyed our whole Wolfgang series. I mean,. You know, for me, I loved making this last episode. I spent a bit of extra time on it, but you know, it's it, I guess it's my way of saying thanks to you for you know all the all the laughs along the way and all the fun little jokes we've had in the comments. Um, yeah, I really appreciate it. So thanks for sharing the journey with me, and yeah, I can't wait for our next journey. So just a quick update too: there is a new straw poll in the description, which allows you to vote for our next series. Uh, there's three options this time, and they've been discussed quite a bit in the comments, and these seem to be the three that are coming up the most at the moment. Uh, the first one is the Ultimate Banner Challenge, which would require me to collect every banner in the game. Uh, yeah, that's right, even really rare banners like the Nymph and Tim Banner and Rune Wizard and all those crazy things. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I've got some great building ideas for the series. Um, so yeah, vote for that one if it sounds cool. We've also got a warrior playthrough, which is just pure melee. Uh, not yo-yos, because obviously we've just done Yaren. Um, but yeah, all melee weapons, and yeah, I, I don't think I've actually done a pure melee, uh, series before. I did a series called Arthas, the Paladin, um, but that was really early on when I was doing Let's Plays, so... 
and I, I never really finished it. So, <laughs> yeah, that, that could be a bit of a challenge for me. Uh, we've also got uh, Archer, or Ranger, which has been, yeah, really requested quite a bit. And, um, yeah, there's been a lot of new bows introduced in 1.3, so I could see that being lots of fun as well. All right, so voting will be up for a few days, so make sure, you know, if there's something you really want to see, take five seconds out of your day and click that vote button in the straw poll and uh, make your make your wish become a reality. <laughs> All right, guys, look, thanks so much for watching and sharing the Wolfgang series. Click the like button if you've enjoyed it. Keep the comments coming for your requests and, you know, shout-outs and all that good stuff. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, click the little HD icon in the bottom right corner. You won't be disappointed. His most important part, as always, you all stay happy. And I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides, the mimics can get in which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh he's got 3,000 health! <laughs> he's only got 3,000!